Akron Athletics and the Wentz Financial Group present Zips Weekly with John Gross. Contributing sponsors, Hilton, Akron Fairlawn, Bryant, Heating and Cooling, and Regency Office Furniture. And now your host, Joe Dunn. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Zips Weekly with Ed Basketball Coach John Gross. Brought to you as always by Bud Wentz and everybody at the Wentz Financial Group. Well, another great week for the Zips. A Tuesday night win at Eastern Michigan, then a Saturday night home game win over Buffalo. So right now, Akron is 19-8 overall, 11-3 in the Mid-American Conference. But two more big games coming up this week, including Tuesday night at Toledo, back home Saturday to take on Western Michigan. So, Coach, a good week. Anytime you get two wins, that's a good week for yeah, you. Yeah, no, from the standpoint of getting results, right, it doesn't yeah. get any better. Um, you know, the way we performed, I felt like defensively we improved from where we were the previous week, um, which was good. Uh, I thought we did some really good things there. And yeah. then offensively, we just continue to play the right way. We've got guys emerging like Nate Johnson yeah. emerging offensively. Castaneda has continued to be consistent. Uh, Freeman was consistent, obviously, all week. Seems like every time I told one of his teammates this week, I said, see that guy over there? He's going to get a double-double tomorrow yeah. night. I already know that. <laughs> you know, I talk about what you're getting yeah. out of guys and how you trust guys and how consistent they are with what they do. Um, and so he's been playing well. Uh, Bench has been playing well and contributing. I yeah. thought Clark defensively against yes. Buffalo was great. Um, I, I, Sammy Hunter's playing well. Yep. So we're really starting to flow in that direction where we want to play our best basketball here at the end of the year. Yeah, that was my next question, Coach. We've got four regular season games left and up to Cleveland for the tournament. Is it just a matter now of fine-tuning things, or can we get better now in the last four games? Well, I think it's a combination, right, of, of one, trying to always keep at the forefront of your mind that you want to be playing your best when you get yeah. to Cleveland. But secondly, the reality of it is with four games to go, we're in a conference championship chase. Yeah. Um, and that's reality. So every game, every possession is important. Yeah. Um, and uh, we, we, that's the secondary part of all that in terms of the thought process. And then thirdly, you want to make sure that you're continuing to keep guys fresh and healthy right. and, you know, manage uh, your, your rotations and all those different things as well. So there's a lot kind of hanging in the balance sure. there that you're trying to manage simultaneously. As we said, the Zips with two big wins last week. Let's begin by going back up to Ypsilanti, Michigan on Tuesday night. The Zips against Eastern and Coach, uh, we put it to them pretty well when they were down here, but the game started out a little bit closer up there. Yeah, I thought offensively, as much as we had emphasized that we needed to get our defense back, which we did, Joe, I thought offensively we weren't very good in the first half. I thought we settled for contested shots. And, you know, the first game we played them, it came a little easy on offense. And I think our guys kind of maybe in some way subconsciously thought it'd be the case again. And we needed to work a little harder to get easy shots. Yep. And then in the second half, I thought we adjusted and were, you know, really good offensively. See the zips up early, 8-4, to four, Coach. And especially in the first half in the entire game, I thought your guys did a great job. Offensive rebound. He had 17 offensive rebounds for the game. Yeah, I thought it was our best offensive rebounding performance of the year. You know, we always know we talk about what Freeman's going to give you. I mean, most nights, Joe, Enrique's going to get three-plus yeah. offensive rebounds. Most nights. He's elite in that area. When you can really get teams on the glass is like we did in Ypsilanti where Sammy Hunter gets two, Nate Johnson gets three, Greg Tribble gets three, and all of a sudden guys are joining the Freeman party on the offensive glass, yeah. and then you become really potent. Game was close. As we said, the Zips were up uh, by one at 13 or 12. Then you start to lengthen your lead, Coach. Uh, goes from one, then you lead by eight at 24 to 16, as we see there. And then you take a timeout. I think there was 37 seconds left in the first half, you take a timeout, and we end up with two triple free throws that go in for the lead. Yeah, we run the ATO. We score, uh, obviously, through through the foul line there and then got a stop and did a good job of closing the half and, you know, thought, obviously, we started to pick up steam offensively there towards the end of the first half, which then led to our offensive prowess in the second half, which I talked about earlier. So we really got the ball moving and really took better shots. So you see Nate Johnson shooting a corner three off of a Castaneda one more. So thought we really played well together offensively. Defensively, I thought we were pretty good throughout, uh, start to finish. Now we're going to talk about Nate Johnson a little bit later in the show, Coach, but 
right now he is really coming on. He had two corner jumpers early in the second half to jump that lead out to 11. He continues to get better and better. He does. He's just really improving and, you know, has been in double figures, I think, at least two of the last three games and been very efficient. And, you know, we had a chance uh, last night, too, Joe, to honor all three guys that scored 1,000 yeah. points, Hankerson, Castaneda, and Freeman. And uh, obviously we're talking about Nate Johnson and double figures. I'm going to say it again. Like, this guy, Greg Tribble, defensively, is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, the way he guarded Amani Bates on Tuesday, uh, what he does from a communication standpoint, what he does from a point per possession defensively when he's on the floor versus not being on the floor for us is just as important as double-figure scoring, 1,000-point right. scores, and sometimes society and people don't understand that. I mean, he is really, really impactful defensively. Uh, I've said it now for a few weeks. If he's not on the all-defensive team, it's a crime. Yep, I You know, agree. just it, it, the impact he has on that end is really powerful. Well, Bates didn't get his points until free throws. 7.30 left in the first half. He finally gets two free throws. That's all he pretty much did in the yeah, first half. Yeah, and it's half. team defense. I don't want to yeah. say we're not playing one-on-one -on -one out there. It's five-on-five, five, but there are primary covers on guys. And obviously, Greg's the primary cover on him. And usually, whoever Greg's the primary cover on is going to have a, you know, a challenging night. And so, that's, that's comforting to know as a coach. You know, that's no different than I mentioned earlier, you know, Enrique's going to get a double-double. Yeah. You know, having Greg defensively is no different than that in terms of his right. impact on that end of the floor. Zips win at 78-51. They had four players in double figures. Good balance scoring. So the Zips win up at Ypsilanti. We're going to take a break, come back, and watch win number 19. Highlights from that big win Saturday night against Buffalo. So don't go away. We're back right after this timeout. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, you're gonna show how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes E.H. Roberts Heating and Cooling. Find them at ehroberts.com. Okay, welcome back to Zips Weekly. So we get set to talk about highlights from that big win Saturday night against Buffalo. And coach, prior to the game, a really nice ceremony. We presented uh, game balls, I think, for our thousand point scores, Castaneda, Freeman, and Hankerson. And you got a basketball for your 100th win as an Akron head coach. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. It just means I've been here a long time, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but no, congrats to those three guys. I mean, obviously they're three special guys. Yeah and special players. You know, obviously everyone gets a chance to see on a regular basis what they do on the court, but who they are off the court is just as important, if not more important to me, yeah. than what they do on the court. And these three guys, in terms of leadership, teammates, uh, students, uh, you name it, I mean, they are first class, and it makes it fun to coach yeah. them. So very uh, blessed, and it's a real privilege to be able to coach all three of those guys. Well, let's go back to Rhodes Arena this past Saturday night. Buffalo's in town. Remember up at Buffalo earlier, Akron played their best first half of the season. And, Coach, this one is a lot closer. And it seemed like Buffalo came out with a lot of energy early they, in the game. They, they did. And, and uh, you know, we were trying to figure it out a little bit there. Defensively made a few mistakes. There's our opener. Great flare screen by Nate Johnson. Castaneda buries it. Uh, we were just saying there off the air, I mean, X has scored 500 points basically since – you know, mid-November, uh, which is astonishing. Uh, six 30-plus point games. I mean, you just don't see that very often. It just tells you about how consistent he's been as a scorer, and he's done it in an efficient way. There you see Enrique scoring down low. Um, great in the game. Obviously, another double-double. There you see him affecting shots at the rim. We were just talking about that off the air as well and how he helps our defense in that regard. And whether he blocks that shot or not, the opponent is always thinking about him yeah. being in that zip code in and around the rim. So there you see the put back, unselfish play there, great skip pass. How about that one? Off the dribble with your left hand. 
you know, on a dime. So he's really developed as a passer, Enrique has here in his fourth year with us. Great screen by Hunter there on the inbound play as Castaneda buries the perimeter jumper. Great help by Garvin Clark, draws the charge on a peel switch. Uh, I thought Clark was really good defensively. Uh, here we are executing, great pace. Uh, Rike does a great job of screening in and getting Castaneda's man there. So, uh, you know, we did some good things, especially offensively, consistent throughout. Uh, defensively, we made a mistake or two here or there that we've got to get cleaned up that can be costly in Cleveland. Uh, so we've got to make sure that we're more consistent on that end of the floor. And we'll be challenged this week uh, with two really good offenses back-to-back -back this week in Toledo and Western Michigan. Saw Castaneda hit a deep three from right in front of the chair backs on the floor, and the Zips are up 32-23. to 23. Buffalo goes on a little 6-0 run. That was late in the half, but we lead at halftime, Coach, 46-34, to 34, and we shot 50% from the field in the first half. Yeah, we did, and, and really should have probably shot that in the second half with the type of looks that we were able to get. There you see Greg getting downhill off the Freeman pick and roll. Um, I just thought we were really sharp here. Nice move by Reek. Reek has such great touch, you know, in and around the basket, really with either hand. Thought he got fouled there, quite frankly. Guy walked under him yeah. and ends up working out for us, and Nate gets the highlight reel dunk. You know, one of the things I wrote down of notes during that game, I thought your guys really moved well without the basketball. Three or four times, uh, they got themselves open for good shots, just moving without the ball. Yeah, and we're going to need to do that on Tuesday. I think movement, ball and player movement will be critical on Tuesday. Here you see us in a three-side pick and roll, Castaneda downhill, body bank finish. You know, I, I, I just thought we were really sharp. Um, deflection here leads to defense, leads to offense. Nate with a Euro step finish, left hand. You know, a lot of the things we do in skill and player development in the spring, the summer, and the fall come up during the game, obviously. Great screen there by Hunter. Um, out of the post, flip to Hank for a three. Pick and roll, great hook pass there by Castaneda. So we, we, we did some good things offensively, obviously, playing very unselfish. You saw the lead was at 16, then it goes to uh, 19. Buffalo calls time, but you keep playing well, and the lead uh, goes up to about 20 and stays about that way the rest of the game. Yeah, it did, and uh, I thought we let them back in a little bit between 12 and 6 with some sloppy play, uh, in particular defensively, uh, not so much offensively, but just, you know, made some mistakes, gave them a couple layups on some blown coverages and lack of focus. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Try to get them to understand you can't do that um, if you want to compete for championships. You know, great shot there by Castaneda. Good rub screen by Freeman. You know, Castaneda is at the point right now, Coach. Every time he takes a shot, you think it's going in. He's shooting that well. Yeah, no, no question about it. Hankerson with a good take there and one. But you're right. And part of it's he takes good ones. You know, great pivot pass there. Nate Johnson on the burn cut. So we, we, uh, we did some good things, again, offensively, pocket pass, two-on-one -on, on the short roll. You know, we just, we, we really, right now, guys know how to play together. It's such, it's really neat to see Joe because the first seven games of the year with the two new transfers playing a lot, not having played with the, our guys, our guys not having played with them, a couple freshmen sprinkled in there, never played college basketball before. We, we didn't play with a lot of purpose on offense. Now we play with much more purpose much more of an understanding of what we're trying to get done at that end and how to do that together. Sips win at 86-66, nice 20-point win. And again, you out-rebound an opponent 37-29, to including 11 more offensive rebounds against Buffalo. Yeah, that was won the possession battle, right? You and I talk about that with Dave Skozin quite a bit. Yeah. And when you win the possession battle, you get more shots than the other team gets. I know that sounds simplistic, but that's a huge advantage. Exactly. And oftentimes that team wins. Highlights again brought to you this week and every week by Regency Office Furniture. Thanks to them for being part of the show each week. We're going to take a break, come back. We'll have our individual player awards. Then we have previews of the two games coming up. So don't go away. A lot more to come right here on Zips Weekly. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime.
the University of Akron, you have opportunity. Opportunity to be transformed through learning in our more than 200 in-demand degree programs. Opportunity to gain lifelong talents in the classroom, the studio, the lab, and in the community. And the opportunity to be a leader because of those who will support you here. At the University of Akron, you'll find your opportunity to reach greater heights. Here, everyone rises. Okay, welcome back to Zips Weekly. Each time of this week, we'll announce our players on the rise and also our players of the week. And coach, I think for the second or third time, we've got co-players of the week. And it's no surprise, Xavier Castaneda and Enrique Freeman are players of the week. And let's start with uh, Enrique Freeman because he continues to be a double-double machine. He did it again last week, 22 points, 15 rebounds against Eastern. Four days later, he scores 21 points, pulls down 10 more rebounds, added four assists and a steal, and defensively he continues to block shots and alter shots and make guys take bad shots. No, no question. I mean, we feel like we've got the best, you know, although I'll continue to motivate him every once in a while and say, hey, uh, someone said such and such, Reek, you're going against the best big in the league tonight, you know, just to motivate him. But, you know, we feel like we've got the best one. You know, we're, we're obviously, uh, statistically, I think it shows that. Um, I may be a little biased too because of dealing with him on a daily basis and how great, a, great he is, leader, teammate, all that, work ethic, motor. Um, but uh, well, he's been great, obviously, and very consistent. And it's a great lesson for young guys. I've been trying to tell our freshmen, you can't be freshmen anymore. It's, it's February, you gotta play like exactly. sophomores. You know, I'm looking for consistency over greatness. And with Reek, you know about every night he plays, He's going to get a double double. Exactly. Like I thought he played, and he'll tell you, he didn't play very good against Toledo. Coach was my bad. Da, da, da. And you pick up the stat sheet, and he's got a double double. And that's on, on his worst night. Yeah. You know, so you, you know what you're getting uh, with him and this next guy as well. No surprise, our other co player of the week is Xavier Castaneda, the 6 1 senior out of Chicago. Has developed in one of the best three point shooters in college basketball. His numbers last week include a 16.4 rebound effort against Eastern. And then Saturday night against Buffalo, he was five for nine and three pointers on the way to a 30 point game against the Bulls. He was also credited with seven assists for the week. And from the free throw line, coach, 14 out of 15 from the line last week. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's been a prolific scorer and very efficient. You know, some guys are high volume guys, Joe, where it takes them, you know, 20 shots to score 20 points. Yeah. He's been very efficient for a couple reasons. One, he's shot threes at a really high rate. And secondly, he gets to the foul line. Yes. And as you said, converts there. 14 out of 15. Yeah. He's, he was 83% going into last week. Uh, I haven't looked at the cum here uh, after last uh, night's, night's Buffalo game, but you know, he's well over that number. Yeah. So, you know, it's, uh, it's comforting to know you can have the ball in his hands late game. And if he gets fouled, you know, he's one of the conferences in the country's best free throw shooters. So been very consistent as well. What he does, he does every time he plays, whether it's practice, whether it's a game, he's efficient scoring, his passing has really improved. And you know, he's going to give you a great effort on the defensive end. Our player on the rise, no surprise, a young guy that's getting better and better each game. 6'3 freshman guard Nate Johnson from Lakota East down in southwestern Ohio. He's been in the starting lineup uh, both games last week at Eastern Michigan Tuesday night. 13 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists. Came back Saturday night, 11 points, 2 rebounds, and a steal against Buffalo. For the week, 10 out of 17 from the field, 4 of 7 and 3 points. And one of the things I like about doing the games, Coach, you see these young guys come in as maybe 18-year-old guys, and when they leave, the development is fun to watch. I know you appreciate that. Oh, it's awesome. It's what we're about, right? Yeah. We tell them when we recruit them, we say, hey, guys, this deal's about three things, man, three or four things. One is we want you to graduate yeah. and make progress towards your degree every year. You know, two, we want you to improve and grow as a person, student, and player. We will expect you to get better. If you're the same now as you were when you came in, then that's a problem. Three, we want to compete for championships. And four, we want to help you become a professional in whatever it is you yeah. want to do after college is over. And so we've been able to do that. That's been our formula. I know that sounds pretty simple, but it's one, two, three, four for us. And that's what, those are our goals for our guys individually. Um, and so our guys, a lot of our guys have been able to accomplish those things through our environment here. You know, give credit that you've got to have great support system, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got to have great administration, great uh, staff, support staff. Yep and an environment and culture where that growth can take place. And uh, we've worked really hard to create that. 
and our guys are taking full advantage of it. Great job by all three of our players. Uh, we're going to take a break, come back, because we have two more big games coming up this week. Tuesday night at Toledo, Saturday night back home from Western Michigan. We're back to talk about those two games right after this. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie-cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market, and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group. Investment management for your lifetime. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes E.H. Roberts Heating and Cooling. Find them at ehroberts.com. Okay, welcome back to Zips Weekly. Our Sky Reports brought to you each week by the Hilton Akron Fairlawn Hotel out in the west side of Akron. And boy, this week, Coach, we have a big one. Tuesday night up at Toledo will be for first place in the Mid American Conference. Toledo, as we've said many times, personnel-wise, they're pretty special. Oh, they're really good. Well yeah. coached. They've got a great team offensively. Yep. And they posed us some problems with their scheming on defense here at home uh, in game one. And uh, we, yeah, we're going to have to play really well. They've won, I think, close to, I think it's 15 in a row uh, among the nation's uh, top winning streaks uh, in college yep. basketball currently. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a great challenge. Our guys are looking forward to preparing and getting ready to compete on Tuesday night. Yeah, they're coming off a five-point win against their arch rival Saturday night against Bowling Green. And uh, their only losses this year, I think Kent State and Ball State got them. That's it. That's it. Yeah, and then obviously they've been on a tear ever since, including their win against us uh, here at the JAR, where they did a lot of great things. They made big plays. I thought the, the shot making of Maddox late in the game oh, yeah, was big. huge. <laughs> Because uh, you know, everybody knows, obviously, how good Ray J. Dennis, Shoemate, Milner, what Moss brings to their team. Uh, but I thought Maddox really did a great job uh, making big-time shots at big-time moments yeah. to create some separation. And so we've got, you know, we got to be ready to go. Our defense has got to be impactful, and we've got to continue to find ways to score efficiently. Yeah. Going back to that home game against Toledo when the Rockard, Rockets beat Akron, we got off to a slow start shooting. I think we were only one out of 14 or 15 to start the game, but then we're still only down a point midway through the first half. Yeah, we battled. We hung yeah. in there and fought like our, you know our guys will. I just thought our attention to detail, our energy level wasn't where it had been, and uh, it's got to be better, and I'm you know, confident that we'll play with a little more energy on Tuesday night. Then Saturday, the Zips come back home for a big game against Western Michigan, and the Broncos are coming off a huge win against Ball State on Saturday. Yeah, no, they've got great personnel uh, all year. We've known that. Um, you know, Norman obviously led the league in scoring last year, Joe. He's a prolific scorer. That's another guy, Greg Tribbles guard, <laughs> that he did yeah. a great job on. Uh, so he's really, really good. Hastings is great on the glass. Wright is good inside. Trey Maddox has had a great year for them. And then their freshman, Hannah's been really, really good yeah. for them. Uh, Montenegro's been great for them as a freshman defensively and running their team. So that'll be a great, you know, great challenge as well. I think we were only up by two at the half up at Kalamazoo in that yeah, first game. Yeah, they're super talented. Yeah. yeah, a lot of transfers, super talented, sprinkled in with some freshmen. And uh, Dwayne does a good job, and it'll be a great, great test for us. Congratulations, Coach, on the two wins this past week. Congratulations on your 100th win as the head coach at Akron. Want to see you out at the uh, JAR on Saturday. Western Michigan in town, only four games left on the schedule. For head coach John Gross, I'm Joe Dunn. Thanks for watching. Back next week. And always remember, go Zips. Thanks for watching Zips Weekly with John Gross. Presented by Akron Athletics and the Wentz Financial Group. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, go Zips. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.